What's up, you guys? My little squishy pal right here. You know, you get squishy and squishy. Right now, I just want to talk about my beta situation that I'm in. And um, this is my room and shit, you know. So, right now, I feel like I'm the boyfriend that uh, doesn't do drugs, you know, that quit. They used to do drugs, but doesn't. You get my girlfriend smoke sweet. You get how I feel about it. I love weed. I used to love weed as a child, as a kid, you know. Uh, but my thing with cigarettes, I love I love tobacco. That shit, oh, I like. I actually like smoking tobacco. But that was the shit that was fucking me up the most. That shit was harder to quit than drugs, you know. But then again, I did rubber cement before I did drugs, and I was like, after rubber cement, drugs were anything. But anyways, so um, how I feel is like I don't know what she uses it for, you know. I don't know like um what it does for her personally, you know, I don't know if it's an image thing, I don't know if it's like uh you know, um helps her deal with life, you know. It's socially accepted now. You know, so I mean it's like I guess it's okay. But you know, me coming from a different background, it's like you feel like you know, maybe she's not able to deal with her problems like on her own or maybe like you know, cuz there's a body in weed, you know. She probably likes the the community of weed. You know, but all I know is that, I don't know the situation that I'm in is like I feel like I'm the boyfriend that um that used to smoke weed. I used to smoke weed. You get, I noticed that people give me a fucked up day, you know, because I smoke weed, and then fucking I smoke weed to like make up for them giving me a fucked up day. So then I have two fucked up days, and then to get off weed I had to have a fucked up day. So I just took the fucked up day because I went broke. But um, how I feel about it is like. I think it's great, bro, you know, it's just a matter of, like, you know, her gaining personal identity in the world, you know, because of the fact that you could smoke weed and still be a good person, you know, it's just, it's just the image, but, um, yeah, that's the position I'm in right now is, is the, uh, I feel like the boyfriend that doesn't do drugs, you know, and my girlfriend smokes weed, which I don't have a problem with, you know, as long as, like, like, her family supported it, you know, because of the fact that, um, you know, um, if your family doesn't know you smoke weed, they they make a big deal about it, you know, it's crazy, so yeah, I mean, I don't have a problem with it, you know, because I feel like if I were to say some shit to her and be like, hey, you know, um, you should stop smoking weed, you know, because, you know, it, it'll make you a better person, people will stop fucking your days up, and people will start treating you better, I mean, it'll get hard at first, but it'll get better, you know, it's different, you know, it's because it's a hip, new, cool thing, you know, it's, it's, it's like, you know, stay in your lane, it's fucking like letting people live, you know. I just know if you put stress on a person to quit doing some shit, they're going to do it some more because, you know, they want to feel free, they want to feel freedom. You know, just like me and cigarettes, like, you should stop smoking those cigars. I fucking love them 50 cent fucking pom-poms, bro, to the neck. And people would be like, dude, you're not putting any weed in no shit? I was like, nah, bro. I'm just smoking them straight. I used to enjoy it with a cup of coffee at, at Helm Park every morning. And I was like, you know, I didn't get it. But anyways, so, um, yeah, and when it comes down to it, being like a, a, a sober boyfriend to a girl who smokes weed, that's cool. It's just that it's whack, bro, you know? That shit is crazy, you know, even if she did so act though, nowadays me having gone through those programs and stuff, I'd be like, you know, I know a course, I know, I have faith today, so I'm not even worried, you know, as long as you had communication, you know, it's different, but, um, yeah, so when it comes down to a girlfriend smoking weed, it's like, that's cool, you know, socially, except that I fucking love beer. You know, I fucking love beer. I love, I, I, me and alcohol have been friends forever. Even when I fucked up with beer, you know, got a DUI twice, but I was drunk. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I earned them fucking DUI, you know. And But when it was drugs, I was like, dude, I wasn't even doing that, bro. <laughs> wow, cool, wow. You know, so I don't know. I mean, I don't have a problem with it. I just think she got to smoke in the other room. <laughs> you know what I mean? I couldn't be in the car hotboxing, you know, because... Uh, I don't know, it's just contrast, you know what I mean? Like, I don't smoke weed, but I but, but I love it, you know? I love weed, <laughs> but, I, but I don't smoke it, though, you know? So, I mean, that's just where I'm at today. I just wanted to share on that because I get in the beta mode a lot. And um, I just, I just you know, I you know, I have faith, bro, you know? And I'm like a known person, so 
I'd rather have her be known smoking weed for than like on, on the down low smoking crack. You know, even if my girlfriend was a crackhead, bro, I'd be like, yo, my girlfriend's a crackhead and it's weaker, bro. You know, she did that shit just to get her over it, you know, because then we'd be that burnt out couple. You know, I, I, where I used to live, me and my girlfriend were the burnt out couple, but we were together, though. And like, it was great, you know? It was me and my girlfriend, and the whole neighborhood knew we were fucking spun out. And it was like, we were like the official squeaker couple, bro. <laughs> that shit was funny, but then we broke up and shit because we were trying to figure out if it was love or not. But anyways, I love that woman to death, but like, you know, getting myself on my personal journey. Because it's a personal journey, you know. So that's where it is, big dicks. Big Dick Sandwiches, Las Vegas. The world famous Big Dick Sandwich. Don't forget to come by and see your boy said. You know, if you don't see this face, you're not at Big Dick Sandwiches.